from the monotonous daily grind, the nine-to-five tedium, the slavish banality of normal existence. What are you talking about, Pudgy? Work. I'm sick of it. <laughs> but you haven't worked a day in your life, Pudgy. I know, but I'm still sick of it. It's some kind of allergy, I suppose. <laughs> Perhaps you're right, Pudgy. Sometimes we're so busy, we just let life pass us by. That sounds just like the professor, Mum. He gets so tied up in his work, he loses track of everything else. <sighs> he said he'd meet me here, but I can't see him anywhere. Ah, fresh air, sunshine and exercise. There's nothing like it. That's right. Nothing like giving the old digestive muscles a vigorous workout in the great outdoors. It's not quite lunchtime, Podgy. But if I don't warm up, I might pull something. What kind of sandwich is that? It's the Pudgy Spectacular. Pickles and prunes. Pickles and prunes? Ooh. With pepper. Want a bite? Uh, no, no, thank, thank you. you. Good. Come on, Pudgy. Let's go find the professor. We'll be back in a little while. See All you right, later, then. Rupert. Bye, boys. But Rupert... <laughs> Bugs, you know. Professor! He shrank himself. You're right, Rupert. I think he is working too hard. Hello, boys. So good to see you. So good to see that you're all right, Professor. <laughs> A cardboard model. And he looks just like you. And you thought he shrank himself. <laughs> it's my latest invention, boys. It's an advanced solar-charged calmerinium cell dual-purpose reduction expansion apparatus. Not only will this machine make big things small, it will also make small things big. I'm going to call it the Big Small Machine. A rather oxymoronic name, don't you think? I'll say. What are you going to use it for, Professor? Well, the possible applications are innumerable, but I was planning a small, uh, big demonstration. Wow! A model of Nutwood! Authentic to the last detail. What I plan to do is to take this model to the countryside and use the big, small machine to expand the model to life-size. This might be the way the cities of the future are built, my boys! There's me! And Tiger Lily and Constable Growler. And me. <laughs> Look, Fudgy, you're stuffing your face. Authentic to the last detail. Very clever, Professor. With the big small machine, you're bound to win the Inventor's Fair again this year. Oh, I don't know, Rupert. The Professor has won first prize in the Inventor's Fair 27 years in a row. First prize 27 years in a row? Wow, what are the chances of that? Oh, approximately 4,735 to one. Mm, that's what I thought. But aren't you forgetting something, Professor? I don't think so, Rupert. I've been up all night rewiring the alternating Schlopp and Dickery coils and tightening the infusatory panels. No, I mean the picnic. The picnic, that's right. Tomorrow is the picnic. No, today is the picnic. That's right. I've been up all night. Today is yesterday. Tomorrow is today. Today is the picnic. Well, 
What are we waiting for, boys? You know what they say. All occupation and no recreation. Who says that? <laughs> Come on, Pudgy. First prize for 27 years in a row. What are the chances of that? Um, uh, not good. And how do you think it makes me feel being second best for 27 years in a row? Uh, uh not good. Terrible! That's what I was gonna say! Well, the brilliant professor's winning streak is about to come to an end, Otis. That laboratory is filled with his latest inventions, and we're going in there and clean them all out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, which one do you want me to clean first? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, but you said... Get to work! We've got to pile all these inventions by the door. Then we'll bring the truck around and load it up. Truck? Bring the truck around? I'll bring the truck around! I'll drive the truck! Never mind the truck! That's all you ever think about! Truck, truck! Truck, truck, truck! Truck, truck, truck! Yeah, I guess I got a one-truck mind. <laughs> Get to work! <laughs> this one won't be hard to carry. <laughs> Quit fooling around. Uh-oh. <laughs> now I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Hurry, Professor. A bee. Get it away from me, Rupert. <laughs> Just relax, Pudgy. Pudgy, did you know that there are 10,000 species of bees? Really, Professor? And that they are found in every part of the world except near the North and South Pole? Honey bees are social insects. They live and work together in large groups. They form a colony of thousands of bees. Very reassuring, Professor. In fact, there are several interesting beehives over by Old Finley Manor that I could show you. What are you doing? Excuse me. They offer a fascinating display of, um, uh, <laughs> well, perhaps another time. Coming, boys. What happened, Rupert? Where are we? Rupert! Look out, Pudgy! Wait for me! Professor! Professor! Oh, it's no use. He can't hear us. Why not? His ears are certainly big enough. Wait a minute. Rupert, I've figured everything out. The professor's big small machine did this. You could be right, Pudgy. Of course I'm right. Somehow, the big small machine has made the whole world bigger. Except for you and me. I think it's more likely that it's made you and me smaller, Pudgy. Oh, that's possible. I think we'd better get back to the lab. Then, then we can try to figure out what to do. But at this size, it'll take us hours to get back there. What's that rumbling sound? Normally, I'd say it was my stomach, but it's too small now to make that much noise. Duck! I've never seen a bug stampede before. Where are they running from? I don't know. Bug rustlers? Listen, Pudgy. Or a frog? Yes, that would make sense. <laughs> ah! Run! I didn't say anything, Rupert. <clears throat> Where I come from, the privacy of one's bath is... is unassailable. That's okay. We didn't plan on doing any sailing. Oh, we're very sorry, ma'am. It's just that... 
Pudgy, look! I could bring the truck around now. I could get in it and drive it here for you. I could drive it right around in front of you. We're not finished yet. Oh, yeah. Well, when we're finished, can I drive the truck? Can I drive the truck then? <laughs> we'll see. Pudgy, they're stealing the professor's inventions. We've got to do something. They can have that dagnab big small machine for all I care. Look what it's done to me. But if they take the big small machine, we might never be big again. Rupert, these thieves must be stopped. Oh. Ah! Wow, what a lucky break, Rupert. I landed in candy floss. I don't think that's candy floss, Pudgy. I think you're in a spider's web. Tip, tip, I hate the taste of spider's web. And oh, what a tangled web he's weaved. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Pudgy. <laughs> I know that look, Rupert. It's hunger. That's odd. I can't see the boys. I didn't think they were that far ahead of me. At the rate they were traveling, respected for my appreciably slower speed, taking into account the grade of this hill, which would have hindered my progress by an additional 17.5% relative to the boys, why, I still don't think they would be that far ahead of me. Hmm. What? That little tree looks as if it has been shrunk. Great galaxies! Someone must be tampering with the big, small machine. What's this? <gasps> Rupert! Rupert! Hang on, Pudgy! Hang on! <laughs> well, we're almost finished. Oh, I suppose I should go get the truck now. Oh, I suppose I should get in the truck and drive it around in front of you. Oh, I suppose... I... Otis! Oh, I suppose I should just forget about the truck. There was a spider on your head. There's another one. Where? In your trousers. Ah! Spider! Hodgie! Ah! Ow! Ah! Spider! Ow! There it is! Miss! What kind of spider was it? It looked like a... like a pig spider. A pig spider? Ooh, I hate that kind. Podgy! Hello! <coughs> Just a little more. Rupert, I don't think I can take one more step. You can do it, Pudgy! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Rupert! <laughs> Come on, Pudgy. We've got to call the police before these two get away with all the professor's inventions. <laughs> Please, PC Growler speaking. Hello? 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 Oh, hello? 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 Yes? Yes? What can I do for you? Nothing, thanks. Well, then what did you call me for? I didn't call you. You most certainly did. Well, uh, then what can I do for you? Who is this? Otis. Otis who? Otis the thief. What? What? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Who is this? Constable Growler at the Nutwood Police Department. And if this is your idea of a joke, little boy... Ah! Otis, who are you talking to? No one! Uh, certainly not the police, in any event. Oh, never mind. 
We'll get this big one in the corner last, whatever it is. Go bring the truck around front and we can start loading it up. Oh, why do I always got to be the one? The truck? The truck? Oh, thank you, Domina. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Enough! There's only one thing to do now, Podgy. Exactly. What's that, Rupert? We've got to get over to the big small machine and see if we can reverse the process and enlarge ourselves. Oh, yeah. Well, that's obvious. But how are we going to get there? <laughs> oh, I love this truck! Podgy? Huh. No big deal. Oh. All right, back it up now. <laughs> oh, I love reverse. Not too fast! Alfie, slow down! Yeah! Ready, Podgy? I'm ready, all right. Make me big! Big! <laughs> is not going to be pleased. Her anger is going to be immense. Someone is tampering with the big small machine. I'm normal again. Thank you, Domina. Thank you. I wouldn't exactly call it normal, Otis. Huh? This machine is the discovery I've been waiting for for my entire career. Loaded on the truck. Where is the truck? Here. <laughs> We've got to do something before it's too late. We've got to tell the... <gasps> the professor! You there! Stop that this millisecond! The professor! After 27 years of utter humiliation, now I'm finally going to cut him down to size. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Professor! Watch out! What's going on here? You! Hello, Professor! <laughs> yeah! You'll never get away with this! Oh, there'll be no stopping me now, Professor, with your brilliant inventions and your brilliant mind and my... and my... Truck. And my truck. Oh, never mind. Let's go, Otis. Unhand up. Unpocket me this instant. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> we might as well give up, Rupert. We'll just have to get used to life. In the two-inch crowd, we'll just have to get used to the fact that the average sandwich will now be at least ten times larger than our entire bodies. Hey! We can't give up, Podgy. We've got to save the professor. We've got to go after them. How? We'd need a... We'd need a... A plane! Yeah, a plane. I refuse to be an automotive ornamentation for your muddle-headed gratification. Unbubble me at once! <laughs> <laughs> Rupert, what are you doing? Look out! Whoa! Ammunition! Hmm. Good thinking, Rupert. Ow! Yeah! What's 
going on? We won't stop them this way. Party, take the controls. Huh? Fly right at the big small machine, Pudgy. Okay, Rupert. By the way, how do you work this thing? Like a... like a pig spider. Don't be ridiculous. Pig spiders can't fly. Whoa! The button's stuck. Rupert, look! Come on, Professor! Hey! The whole world is shrinking! Except for me. You can't park that thing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That boy really must start watching those between meals snacks.